Hi guys, welcome to my channel, it's Cell here, thank you very much for watching, we're back again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 reaction video. This time, the, well, all the dialogues, thanks to GTA series videos, thank you so much, dude, for providing this, because I have looked everywhere, and I do not have the equipment to film it myself. So thank you, at least not until it comes on PC. Don't get triggered in the comments, it might be coming to PC, I'm hope, fingers are crossed. Rockstar going to make a buck if it does. I'm a splooge out. But that ain't the point. The point now is the reaction to all the dialogues, which I'm very thankful for, as I've already said to you. Thank you very much. Um, this time where you're at the train station, you've just sort of taken Captain Monroe, re rescued him from being killed by his own general and his own army for treason, um, just because he's helping the Indian tribe. Um... So you're now with Captain Monroe, kind of saying goodbye to him at the train station. Um, and as it says here, there are three different ending cutscenes and dialogues based on your honour status. Um, so what that means, if you have high honour or low honour, it changes. Now, for me, I had high honour, so I got the um, Reverend Swanson. I really hope that's his name. I think that's his name. I don't know why The Simpsons popped into my head. I'm pretty sure it is Reverend Swanson. I hope it is, but we'll check in a minute. Um, I have not seen how the reaction is on the dialogue if you are low honour. And there is also one with, um, if you help, yeah, Brother Dawkins in the two stranger missions in St. Denis during Chapter 4 and have high honour, you will meet Sister Calderon instead of Reverend Swanson. Ah, it is Reverend Swanson. All I have to do is open my eyes. Um, now, I did the first... Uh, mission with Brother Dawkins. I didn't do the second one, so I just got the high on the Reverend Swanson. So I haven't seen the Sister Calderon one at all. Um, so I'm very excited, but I have talked for long enough. Let's get right into it, guys. Uh, let's go. I imagine it'll be the high on a first. Easy. Mm. Oh, low one. Okay. <coughs> I haven't seen this one. Thought you'd start with high on it, but fine. fine. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Yeah. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Still sounds pretty friendly to me for low honor, but. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Man, that cough. Reverend? Reverend, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm, I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some nonsense spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. It's a fair point. I'm still a bad man. Oh, that's different. Maybe that's your path different. isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man. Like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a crazy man. So be it. 
You lived your way, you'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. Interesting. Um, I almost felt it would be a bit more... Not, not toxic, but I, I guess aggressive is the word. Um, I wasn't expecting Reverend Swanson to still be nice, I guess. I don't know why, but I also um, thought, you know, Arthur would actually be a lot more angry um, at Reverend Swanson for abandoning the camp. But then, you know, during that video, I thought to myself, actually, through the quest line, you are automatically forced to feel as if you're coming away from the gang anyway. So that makes sense. Um, there were little bits and pieces, well, we're going to obviously see the high on one now, but there were definitely bits and pieces in there different from the high on one. Um, I think that what are you doing here? Sort of, oh, what are you doing um, at the beginning there? As well as, you know, I'm a bad man, all that kind of stuff. Obviously different. Um, but let's get straight into High Honor and see the comparison between the two here. <coughs> Stop cough. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. So that stayed the same. Meet you back at camp. Mind you, I guess it is just the Reverend and the Nun, the sister, where it changes. Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? No, it's the same as well. Um, well, never mind. I'm leaving. Running away? been a long time since I've seen I suppose so, yes. I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself. I mean, but but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! <laughs> you too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. Yeah. They say that again. Mighty sentimental, Reverend. I like how there's still like a a bit of bad in him just at the end there. A little bit. Cool, so that did change. Um, 
that did change quite a bit. I found it interesting that I must reverend Swanson, what he says, like, leave the rest and let them rot. So it almost seems like Reverend Swanson's also, I know, in the in the low honor one, Arthur's low honor, Reverend Swanson's quite high. And then in the high honor one with Arthur, he's Arthur's obviously high honor, Reverend Swanson almost sounds there low honor, not really given, a, given you know, a shit about uh, the rest of the camp and telling him to just leave them and rot and live his life, which is interesting. Um, so I don't know whether he was just intimidated to say those kind of things in front of Arthur with low honor. Um, but it's, it's it's interesting that it changes. Now this one, I can't wait for because I haven't seen this one at all. Um, I don't even know who she is, to be honest. I literally got reference. I didn't even know there was a third option. So um, I'm excited. Let's go right into this then. Only if you have high honor. That makes sense. If she's a nun. That makes sense. <laughs> This is going to remain the same, isn't it? We don't need to... Uh -huh. Meet you back at camp. Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> 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 Oh, the music as well. What's wrong? I'm, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but no. I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you. And everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. Oh, no. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. <laughs> wow. Um. I am... Sorry. <laughs> That's actually quite... When he said, I'm afraid, he almost looked as if he was, like, welling up. And you know, you find out so much detail through just that one cutscene as well. Like, it wasn't until after the game, um, after I hit the ending, um, obviously, spoilers alert, kind of, well, I don't know why you're here, um, but, but... 
where he mentions that he got the TB by beating, you know, very early on where Herr Strauss, I think it's your first ever person that you beat up to, to collect money from, the guy at the farm who's sick. He's who you've catched the TB from. Um, I didn't know that until after the final mission, after, you know, going scrolling through YouTube, seeing a video that said, oh, this is how we got it. I was like, oh. Well, that makes sense, but I never, I'm pretty sure there's no other dialogue in game that mentions it at all, apart from right there. And you miss that if you don't do the brother Roderick, Droderick, whatever his name was, if you don't do his um, side missions. And I only done one. I didn't do both of them. Um, but the way he speaks with her as well, like this elderly figure, he obviously has a lot of respect for her, and he fully opens up as well. Like... Almost as if it's c confession, exactly as it says um, on GTA um, video series or series videos, series videos um, title. You know, it is Arthur's confession. He's afraid. He had a daughter. He had a son. Um, we knew about Mary. Um, the son, I don't think you know much about again until that cutscene. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I actually found that really emotional that last one um just how much he opens up the fact he wells up when he says i'm afraid i really wish i'd done those two last missions now i think i would have preferred that to reverend swanson but then i didn't know about that last one till now so still still didn't um you know ruin the game for me but well cool well thank you very much for joining me guys um Hopefully we'll see each other again soon. Um, any reaction videos you want me to do, please leave a comment at the moment. Anything is up for discussion. I'm happy to react to anything currently. Um, there's not really anything that I'm set on doing right now. Um, once again, credit to GTA series videos. Thank you very much for supplying this video for me to react to. Um, and obviously check out, you know, all his things. These links aren't going to work um, until you go onto his video, but I will leave a link to the original in the description. Once again, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Subscribe to this guy. His videos are amazing. And also, if you can, do subscribe to me just to stay up to date with what I do. I do appreciate it. Once again, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Peace out. See ya.